Hey, I'm Kev, and yes, I am back with my challenge recaps. And this season, the challenge's name is Free Agents. And I am freaking excited. I cannot tell you guys how excited I actually am because there is no freaking word to describe how freaking excited I am. I am ready. We thought this was gonna be a vets versus rookies. We speculated about the cast, about the format, about everything, and they turned everything around and surprised us with an individual challenge where everybody gets to be a free agent. And I am so freaking ready. So this is gonna be a trailer review slash competitor um, preview and review. But let me start off with saying that the trailer was amazing. The when I saw it on my screen, I was I was so freaking excited. The parts where the trailer is in slow motion are the fucking best it gets you excited it gets you pumped you want to be in there competing with those people even though you're gonna get run over and so let's get started with the cast for the guys we have we are gonna start off with a brandon from fresh me too i i like him he's an enjoyable player he has a good personality, but we have not seen him in his full potential because he always gets um, not the best partners or the best teams, but he has proven in cutthroat that he is a good player. We have a newbie, um, a Brandon, aka Swift, from St. Thomas, which I'm actually excited to see because I feel he can be a really good player and a physical player. I don't know about the mental and the political player, but I know the physical, I hope he has it. But again, we have Ty, who looks so um, physical, that can do stuff, and disappointed us in many challenges. So I hope Brandon lives up to our expectations. Then we have Chet. Actually, I don't really care about Chet, but this is a new challenge. I have a um, mind open about everybody in the cast, so I hope Chet proves himself because, again, he has fallen short, and he made it on his last season. He made it to the final three, and I think that was to Dev. Thanks to Devin, he, he was in third place. If he wouldn't have had Devin hurt on his team, they would have probably freaking won. And, and then we go with CT. CT is the king, the master of the fucking challenges. I am excited. I am team CT. Let's go CT. He's, like in the trailer, he says he's always been a free agent. So I am excited for him again. And I hope he gets a second win in a row. So why not? Kahara. Yes, when I saw Kahara, I was like, I am ready. He is one of my favorite players. Why? He's been on two challenges. His last challenge was back in 2009 in the ruins. And he impressed us all by beating Wes and beating a whole many bunch of people in the ruins. And he is such a good player. Um, I really enjoy uh, his personality. Next. We have Dustin, Dustin from Las Vegas. We've seen his potential. I'm pretty happy to see him too because he is a strong player, physical player. He looks like a nice guy, just like Ahara, and I think they're gonna get along very good. And that's what I like about these two guys because um, they are, they're not douchebags. They're actually good people. Well, that's how they get portrayed as good people. So last challenge, he got second place. We have Frank, again, I'm not a big fan of Frank. I'm actually not a fan of Frank, but um, I don't have hopes for him, for me to like him this season, so uh, whatever. 
Isaac. We last saw him on the Duel 2 and he looks in much better shape than he did back then. I am actually happy to see him and um, it, I like his new look, his tattoos and I hope he does much better and I read his bio and it says he's a free spirit and he he's head is not really in the game I hope he gets his mindset because on the game because I would really want to see him go far because I really enjoy him as a player next we have a Johnny Bananas and we're gonna call him Bananas because there's two Johnnies in this season anyways um, I'm actually tired of watching him I not excited uh, I've never been a fan um, Finally, we get to see him with no politics. Um, that's why I'm actually that's why I want to see him in this challenge. That's the only thing. I hope he gets beat down in the battlegrounds. I think it's called. Next, we have Joe, another Johnny, the Johnny from Portland. And actually, I am ex. Uh, I'm not that excited to see him because I don't know how much of a poten of potential he has to win a challenge at all uh, or as a competitor because he didn't look or seem like he had the best body, the best athletic body out there. So I'm a little bit iffy about him but I, I actually enjoyed him in the real world. So another one for Portland is Johnny, it's his second challenge. Um, Jordan, I mean, Jordan, he's against challenge. I am actually excited. I did not like him in the real world. I enjoyed him on Rivals. He got really far with jo with uh, Marlon, and he got third place for the guys in Rivals too. And I'm actually happy to see him because I know he's a competitor. He has politics. He's a strategy player, and he is. Uh, just such a good player for this challenge Leroy I'm pretty happy to see Leroy in a individual challenge why because I like his personality he's a free spirit he is strong player he um, has had some not very good partners like Naomi um, and I hope this time around he gets to shine because he needs to get further than he has gotten and I really want to see him. Next, Preston. I am not too excited to see him but um, it's an individual challenge. He, he, he's had um, sucky players as partners so let's see what he can do. I'm having an open mind. Next, and uh, rounding up the guy is Zach. Zach is the biggest player physically in the challenge. So um, I'm actually excited. He's going to be alone. Last season he ended up in such a bad uh, position. I, I hope he redeems himself. But that rounds up the guys. So now let's go on with the girls. First up for the girls is a mega super veteran Anissa. Okay, now I'm actually happy. I love her. She has a nice personality and I am excited to see her alone. Why? There has been talk about Laura having this in the bag. But remember, Anissa is the queen of elimination rounds by herself that she can basically take all these girls so next we have Camilla I'm actually excited to see Camilla she's gonna be alone we're gonna see what she does without a partner I'm happy and I'm really glad that people and actually MTV gives her a lot of hype because back when she started in culture there was a, a lot of super fans that were so iffy about her and be like why did they choose this girl that came out of basically nowhere she came out of um the spring break challenge and i actually got to see the spring break challenge and on uh, live and um they were so iffy about her and why does she get a chance and this and that but people now freaking love this girl mt loves this girl and i think the production loves this girl because they give her a lot of promotion there's a lot of people that think she's one of the strongest girls so i'm actually glad that people like her and i actually like her too let's get to car maria you guys know i'm a big huge love 
Earl of Car Maria, and I am excited. She is a beast in one on one rounds. She has proven it. Um, she is one of the strongest competitors in here, and I think she has the position to make it far. There, she has a lot of fans out there, even though she doesn't. She doesn't have a lot of fans in the challenge, but I really love her. I know this is gonna be such a good challenge for her because she's gonna be alone. I want to see what she can do alone. Next, Devin. Devin, when I first saw her, I was like, shit. But then I saw her picture and she looked way, way, way slimmer in such a better shape than she looked in the real world house and in the battle of the seasons. And I'm actually, I was like, okay, I'm keeping an open mind. Next, we have Emily. Emily from Cancun Fish Patrick, I think her name is. Um, it's been more than six freaking years since we saw this girl back in cutthroat. She was eliminated the first round and just one episode and some there were rumors out there that she was giving out spoilers and that she was banned from the challenges and I actually thought this was true because she did not get invited to no other um, challenge until now and I hope she is um, a better competitor she redeems herself I, I I am actually I do like her but I'm not too excited to see her in this challenge because this challenge was for badass girls to be in it and I don't know if she can hang with Camila and Car Maria and Anissa and you know what I mean. Something tells me that after this challenge, she's gonna be a challenge regular. Then we have our little lovable Jasmine and I'm scared for her because this is individual challenge and I, I love her but this spot could have been for uh, an other girl. I don't know, I don't wanna be mean. I hope she does good. I hope she doesn't get killed in those elimination rounds. I'm just really scared for her. Um, she needs to be in a team challenge. That's a better format for her. But anyways, we got then we got Jimmy. Jimmy, I was not too excited to see back in Rivals, but now I see that she she's a Division One athlete, and I'm like, what really? So I hope she um, gives us more of that athletic. Um, skills that she has I hope now that she doesn't have any partners that she can shine just a little bit maybe next out I'm actually surprised that I was actually happy to see this girl Jessica because um, I saw her Instagram pictures that she was slimming down um, and she actually did us very well in the previous challenge so I was not actually that pissed off to see her. I was actually happy and excited. I hope she does well. I hope she gets farther and I hope she beats some of those girls asses in some elimination rounds because little Jessica, little Miss Barbie Hook, she needs to prove herself. Next we got John A. John A, I'm actually really scared for her because she is a very good competitor in during the challenges but on, on the elimination rounds, I don't know how well she's gonna do. I love my John A, I think she is a very good player but she this format is not a very good format for her she does better i think she does she's gonna do better in a team challenge or a partner challenge than the this challenge then we have latoya i was like why latoya from all girls they could have put somebody else more competition this is not competition for the girls she is too skinny she does not look athletic i saw the real world thomas she couldn't even get on the freaking paddle thing she cannot even do anything next we have queen laurel and i am excited because we have not seen her since 2011 in rivals with car maria she was in second place and this is her season she can get rid of all these girls i don't know if she can get rid of anisa but um she has a big 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 potential to win this challenge as for the guys there's a lot of guys that actually can win for the girls it's either laurel anisa or car maria or possibly the next 
three girls that I'm about to talk about, but I am hugely glad to see Laurel. I hope she gets her bitch on. I hope she gets, she's gonna get far, I know that. Next, we got Nani. Yes, every time I see her, she's just a fierce competitor. She does well in challenges, and I think this challenge is gonna do so much for her because she's gonna, now we're gonna see what she can actually do and I'm really, really happy to see her. Next, we got Naya, Hurricane Naya from Portland, as uh, our second rookie girl. Whoa, I, to, tell, to be honest, she is the villain that I actually love. I don't know why, but there is something that I love about this girl, and I think she's gonna do so freaking well in this, in the challenges. This was a good, challenge for her to start off by herself to see what she can do and i hope this girl does not fail me because i right now have lots of high hopes for her so i hope this girl does not fail me Teresa is one of those girls that always gets paired up with mm, sucky players. I think she has so much potential in her, but I hope we get to see her shine in this season. There's no real world explosion cast, which I am sad about because I would have liked to see who Corey, I would have liked to see Brian, I would have liked to see Ariel. Haley and possibly Jenny. Um, I would have liked to see Avery from Portland, I would have liked to see Brittany from Hollywood, and to round up the girls, I would have liked to see Kelly and... I would also like to see Wes in this challenge. Darrell, come on Darrell, don't, uh, I hope he comes back. So anyways, this has been my video. If it's too long, I'm sorry, I just get too excited. See you later, alligators, and bye-bye.